entire immunotherapy field, cancer immunotherapy field, is really flourishing. Uh, in the uh, passive approaches, such as adoptive T-cell therapy, thanks to the technology, tools for gene transfer and genome editing, but also in the vaccination uh, uh, approach, in part because um, we have increased our knowledge on how to vaccinate, on, on, the, on the rules um, um, underlying uh, uh, protective responses to vaccines. Um, and on the other hand, uh, on, um, thanks to the fact that we could combine vaccination to adoptive T cell therapy. Uh, one of the reasons why the, the first cancer vaccines were not that efficient, uh, they, they, were, they didn't really induce uh, uh, responses in a large number, in a large frequency of patients. Even though when the patient responded, the responses were long lasting, but very few patients responded. One of the reasons is the paucity of tumor specific T cells, so of T cells able to respond. Today, we can combine adoptive T cell therapy with vaccination, which will sustain these lymphocytes in the patients and have the potential to really make the difference for a much larger number of patients.